Americans produce 687,000 tons of trash every day. All that trash has to go somewhere. It's taken to landfills, where it piles up higher and higher. As trash decomposes, it produces gas. This landfill gas is a pollutant that can contribute to climate change. It contains methane, which pound for pound is an extremely potent greenhouse gas. Large landfills don't let the gas seep into the air. That can be dangerous. Instead, they install a network of wells and pipes to collect the gas. Then they simply burn it off into the atmosphere. Burning breaks down the methane, which is good, but the energy is wasted. There is a better option. Use landfill gas to generate green, renewable electricity. That's where Ameren, Missouri gets involved. Ameren, Missouri, a subsidiary of Ameren, has partnered with the operator of the largest landfill in Missouri to build the Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center, one of the most advanced landfill gas to electricity projects in the country. It's one more green energy resource in Ameren, Missouri's portfolio. To serve its 1.2 million customers throughout the state, Ameren, Missouri uses different technologies and fuels, coal, Nuclear power and natural gas generate most of the electricity, but renewables like hydropower, wind, solar, and methane gas are playing a larger and larger role. The Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center generates enough electricity to power 10,000 homes from an energy source that had been largely going to waste. Unlike wind and solar power, which vary depending on the weather, time of day, and season of the year, landfill gas is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The landfill next to the Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center is expected to produce enough gas to keep it operating for decades to come. Generating electricity from landfill gas sounds simple, but actually it requires a complex engineering solution. Untreated landfill gas is not an ideal fuel because it contains contaminants and water vapor, which is not surprising. It comes from trash. Because landfill gas contains only 45 to 50 percent methane for burning, compared to the 75 to 90 percent methane in commercial grade natural gas, it must be processed before it can be used efficiently. Ameren, Missouri engineers installed a sophisticated treatment system to process the gas. Here's how it works. The gas is piped from the landfill into Ameren, Missouri's facility, where a series of filters removes many contaminants. A set of separators and chillers removes moisture. And compressors increase the gas pressure. This process is repeated several times until the gas is clean and reaches a pressure of 270 pounds per square inch so it can burn efficiently. This is where Ameren, Missouri's commitment to the best technology really makes a difference. Older technology uses reciprocating engines, like large diesels, to generate electricity from landfill gas. The Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center uses advanced turbines, similar to jet engines, which burn landfill gas cleaner and greener than any other technology available today. Gas enters the turbine, mixes with air, and ignites. The turbine spins as fast as 14,000 revolutions per minute to generate electricity. Heat from the exhaust gas is captured to preheat the incoming air, which further improves the turbine's efficiency. Each one of the plant's three turbines generates 4.7 megawatts of electricity for a total output of almost 15 megawatts. The Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center is located in a developed suburban area where it needs to be a good neighbor. Ameren, Missouri has enclosed most equipment inside the building's thick concrete walls to reduce noise. The low emission turbines don't require tall stacks. Someone nearby might not even realize that this is a power plant. Ameren, Missouri's commitment to the environment and our technical expertise to make clean, greener energy work have made the Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center a reality. We are turning something nobody wants, decomposing trash, 
into something everybody needs. Reliable, environmentally friendly energy. Ameren, Missouri. Focused energy for life. My name is Warner Baxter. I'm the, um, the chairman, president, and CEO of Amron, Missouri. And, and on behalf of all of our coworkers here from Amron, Missouri, and, and so many others, we, we really want to welcome you to our, to our event today. It's, it's really a, a very special day. You know, it's exciting for not just our coworkers, but uh, we see it as an exciting day for our customers in the entire state of Missouri because today, you know, we're celebrating something special, and it's opening the state's newest renewable energy resource, and that's our Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center. And it really takes a, a fairly simple principle. It takes something nobody wants, which is decomposing trash, and turns it into something everybody needs, which is safe, reliable, and environmentally responsible energy. And we're proud to be part of that. But what's really unique about this particular renewable energy source is that it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We don't have to worry about whether the wind's blowing or the sun's shining. We're going to consistently generate renewable energy here each and every day. And it was about three years ago on an almost equally hot day when the Governor Nixon and Warner stood a few feet behind where we are right now and announced our intent to build the largest landfill renewable generation facility in the region. I'm so pleased that many that were here then are back here again today and helping us to celebrate the completion of this 15 megawatt energy center. Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center is just one way that we're focused on securing Missouri's energy future. We are continually reviewing and pursuing opportunities to increase our renewable generation capabilities. This project is a very big step forward towards integrating renewables into our generation fleet. I want to commend Warner and Chuck Naslin and all the Ameren co-workers who worked on this project especially for completing this uh, ahead of schedule, which is very important because we need it on a day like today. And also, maybe just as important, maybe more important, it came in under budget. So let's give uh, those people a hand. I would like to thank Ameren, Missouri, for their ongoing commitment to the St. Louis region. They continue to prove themselves to be a magnificent business partner and a valuable asset to St. Louis County. I would also like to applaud Ameren and its partners on the creation of jobs that went along with this project. Certainly, there were the design and construction jobs that helped get us to where we are today, and um, the permanent jobs that will assist in the ongoing operation of this Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center. So, Thank you. More than 90% of Missouri's primary energy sources are imported from outside the state. The use of local energy sources like this landfill to electricity project means energy is generated in Missouri and dollars stay in Missouri. And companies uh, like Ameren are enhancing their portfolio of renewable electricity generation. And it's, it's just great to see this example. When considered with the landmark level of invest investment in energy efficiency measures uh, that Ameren, Missouri has recently committed to in implementation of the Missouri Energy Efficiency Investment Act, this progress is simply historic. And so I so appreciate the opportunity to be here to congratulate you on, on the, the path that you're taking and just the significant progress that has been made to date. 